This video will cover how we test for phosphate in the stream. So when you open your kit up, the first thing you're going to notice is that there's a variety of different materials. You are using glass bottles here, so please be careful on how you handle those in the test site. So the first thing to point out is you will have some square mixing bottles, which you'll find right here, and those are both labeled A and B for both your samples. You also have some regular test tubes in the back too. So aside from the chemicals in the Ziploc bag, we also have a device called a color comparator. Now it's important to take a look at these closely because you'll notice inside of this color comparator, there's a mirror. So when you're using this, you need light to shine down in to the color comparator to go through each of the test tubes so that you can get the proper color match uh, to get the proper results uh, for this specific test. This is different than the other color comparators that come uh, with other tests that you might do. Just a reminder, when you're in the field and you don't have access to these videos, you do have printed instructions. So be sure to always follow along when you're out in the field with each of the instructions written here. If you have a question, please ask your instructor. So the first step to testing is take your sample A and you're going to fill it up to 20 milliliters, which is marked on this bottle here. We've done this in advance. Then we're going to ask you to do the same with sample B and also fill that up to 20 milliliters. Now we're going to ask you to add one packet of Phosphovir 3 to each container. Please be sure that any leftover materials, such as the foil packets, you collect those and don't leave those in the field. Now we're going to ask you to go ahead and swirl each of your samples. Watch carefully. And this will help ensure that the Phosphor 3 properly mixes. So at this point, we've waited 8 to 10 minutes to get this color change you see in front of you. Please understand, it won't happen right away in real life. So you're going to have to wait and make sure somebody has a timer or a clock. First thing you need to do with the color comparator in the outermost slot, you need to add untreated sample water. You'll notice uh, this tube looks pretty clear. We're going to set it in there, and that's a control for this. We're going to compare untreated water with treated water for the color comparator. So now we're going to take square mixing bottle A, uh, where our chemicals have sat, and we're going to pour it into the circular test tube A. And we're going to put that into the color comparator. Now you should have the untreated water to your left, the treated water to your right. So when you have both samples in the color comparator, you will notice that on the right-hand side, this is our treated water, and this is our untreated water. And the goal is to get both of these colors to match, and that'll give you a reading right here. So we're going to go ahead and do that right now to demonstrate what it should look like. And you can see this is gradually uh, changing color until you get a match. So you'd read this as 37 milligrams per liter. Now, as a low range test, there's one more additional step. You'll need to divide that result by 150 to get the low range results to report on your data sheet. And finally, you'll continue the same thing with uh, sample B. And any chemicals you have, you are gonna pour those into the waste container when you're finished. Please organize and return all your testing materials back into the kits as you found them. And don't forget, you also have clean water that you can rinse out uh, for future tests. 